Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anyway, just kind of this. This won't end well for you. I leave politics to others. I serve the Lord of the Castle. Yes, how may I serve you, milady? I am afraid I won't be able to help you with the scrolls any longer, milady. Please do not be angry with me. I'm afraid in my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the time I needed to prepare. The failure is purely mine to bear. As you can see from my bandages, it's not that I am unwilling, it's that I am physically unable. Oh, please, milady. Please, forgive me. If only such a miracle existed, I'd overcome the impossible in order to secure it, if it meant pleasing you. Although I would gladly die by your hand, perhaps I could offer an alternative way to read the scrolls. Oh, thank you, milady. Thank you. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim, in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every Moth Priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Fortune smile upon you, my lady.
I'm no fan of the sun. It would be better than this. Keep that magic away from me. Let's get the blood flowing again. Somebody help!
that bark as much as Dexian said they would.
almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. I never trusted those damn scrolls. Who knows what those things could have done to you? Just look at Dexian. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Then it's almost over. We can finally rewrite the prophecy as we see fit. Where is this Darkfall cave? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. I'm ready if you are. From the castle, you used to just be able to see solitude over the mountains. That's exactly what I'd imagined.
Would anyone want to set up camp here? I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. Oriel, Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the Betrayed. Of course. You're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it. But first, I must have your assistance.
Absolutely. You could turn around and travel back from wherever you started empty-handed. Or you could assist me. I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Auriel would allow this to happen. They swept into the Chantry without warning, and began killing everyone without pause. The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone, and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Leaving the Wayshrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Auriel, and an assault on the betrayed guarding the Inner Sanctum would only end with my death. Yes, let me show you. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Auriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the Way Shrine's center and proceed to the next Way Shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the Initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the Ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the Ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the Arch Curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim Mario's bow. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Caves? Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. Once you've located a Way Shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the Shrine's basin, as if you've been enlightened. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey.
show yourself. <laughs> 